I'm getting ready. We are ready. Oh. And we're on. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, Friday edition, where we usually play new games. And boy, do we have a batch of new games and coffee for all of you. We have six work-in-progress games, so they are brand spanking new, fresh off the press. Oh, nice. Fresh off the keyboard. This is the first time I'm hearing about it, as <laughs> is usual. Yep. It's a big surprise for everyone, including you. Mostly Look you, Look how surprised actually. I am. <gasps> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would have had a sneak peek if I'd looked over there, but I was too busy yabbering about something it, or another. <laughs> and these work-in-progress uh, ones are mostly just name pictures, and so I wouldn't have had much, a couple graphics much of there. a hint. Not too much. You could probably work out a little bit what's going on in the game. I could have, I could have if I had been sharper, but as yeah. you can see... He needs his sharpness. I haven't gotten my <laughs> artificial sharpness yet. <laughs> Still building up. Still has a little bit more to go. Uh, this is Zero Page Homebrew, if you haven't been here before, where we play new games for classic consoles or ancient consoles. 41-year-old consoles, the Atari 2600, which was uh, the biggest of its time. It was a huge impact. And we're brought and it only got smaller and, and smaller. smaller as time went by. And now it's refined to a perfect size. That's right. Where the people that play it are really into it. Yeah. And that's us and the people who make these games. Although I was referring to the size of the actual Atari. <laughs> that's I know, true. I'm very funny. Yeah. Now they have the money. You can emulate it on a Raspberry Pi Zero. And it can be that big, the emulator. Yep. And um, speaking of which, I have one for you, an emulator. It's in a box. You don't need to open it, but um, uh, this is uh, Darcy's. It was shipped to blank with blank <laughs> at blank. All right. Um, this is the Retron 77, um, Darcy edition. And um, I will give you this nickel as deposit. Oh, thank you so much, sir. I won't <laughs> spend it all in one I place. I promise I will pay you uh, the rest for later. Excellent. <laughs> That's a down payment deposit. Now I just have to, to uh, update it and get put an SD card in it. And, and get a proper joystick. And figure out how <laughs> to get the games on the SD card. Oh, yes. That's... All the, the internet will tell me. Yes. Internet, please tell, tell me. Tell me, internet. <laughs> they will. They will. I'll tell you. Um, yeah, and you need to get a, a, a be either be very careful with that joystick, or mm. get a different joystick, because yes. that's first edition joysticks. You can put it on a shelf in a glass box, ah. <laughs> or you can play with it and break it because they're very breakable. Unfortunately, and, and if you put it in a glass box, how since it breaks so easily, no one will even be able to tell whether it's been used or not. That's true. Because it'll be trapped in a black That's box. True. I mean, a glass box. Glass if it was box. a black box, <laughs> it, you could just have an empty black box and no one would be able to tell. It'd be the same. Right? I suppose if you'd put uh, something that maintained the same density and weight ratio. If you pick, you'd have to pick it up and go, yeah. oh, I think there's a Retron 77 joystick in this. <laughs> and it's broken. Broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, sadness. But the, the unit itself works well, doesn't it? It does what it was designed to do. Then that is a yes. <laughs> uh, we should not I, be asking for more than they claim. Uh, yeah. Hoping for more than they Hoping. claim, but asking for no. It's uh, in the eyes of the people that have reviewed it. It is a slight disappointment. Oh. But it does play a lot of games. Yeah. And it plays them fine. Mm -hmm. Not great. I think the only big thing that is a major problem that you might be like, eh, it's going to sucks, is that there's some screen tearing when playing games that have movement, like the whole screen moves. So it's the sort of thing that I probably wouldn't even know. To... You may not even notice it, yeah. It's, you might. Not a video file. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's very That's visible. Visible, nah. It's quite visible. Um, but for those static games, like a one-screen shooter, oh, yeah, yeah. which most so, of the old-school ones are. So Jump, Jump Ninja... Uh, Wall, Jump Ninja Wall Jump Ninja would probably be mostly okay, except when moving from screen to screen. I haven't actually tested it, so I don't know if that game works. Right, right. It probably will, because I don't think it uses like super advanced um, right, right. techniques to play, to, to program it. So it should be fine. That one should be fine, but I haven't tested it. So that's your a good first test. Report back! I shall do so. <laughs> 
Uh, today, uh, hello, I suppose to. Hi, James and guest. How do you spell Darcy? You got it in one. You got it in one, yeah. I suppose to. Great job. And there are many options, and you chose the correct one. There's E's, there's I's. All wrong. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's crazy <laughs> Objectively spellings. wrong. Objectively and, <laughs> and literally wrong mm -hmm. in this case. Yeah. Uh, so we got six games today for all of you out there in internet land. We have uh, Quantum Tunnel, which we have played, but we played on the Retron 77, and it was funky. So we're going to do it properly. Gotcha. It was like headache-inducing on this Retron 77 because it's super fast-paced and right, a lot right. of movement. Uh, we have Satan's Hollow, which is a very early work-in-progress game by um, Ice Posta. <laughs> so, but it has the person a in question. It does. So it's ahead in that regard. It, it is playable. It is a playable game, um, just limited. Uh, Palomino, which is a little bit older of a game, um, and it's finished, but it was never declared finished. Right. So it, these are all still work in progress games. Uh, Whitewater, uh, white, is it Whitewater Rapids? Let me just make sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Come on. Uh, Whitewater Madness. 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 So don't play too long. Or you catch the madness. And we have uh, Draco, which is uh, brand new as well. Whitewater Madness is brand new. And we have Robo Ninja Climb, another ninja uh, game and with walls. <laughs> with walls. But it's a robot. That's the twist this time. It's a robot. Right. The uh, <laughs> previous ninja, it was not specified what type of creature the ninja was. We all assumed it was the Homo sapiens. Yeah, humanoid of some kind of, you know, carbon-based life form. However, if we... Not silicon-based. If based. we uh, analyze the amount of jumping, we would have to conclude True. that it was probably some sort of robot or spider. Or enhanced human, you know, with uh, yeah. cyborg upgrades yeah. or, um, you know, an outer shell yeah. that allowed for jumping. And we have been joined by Pixel. Hey, Pixel. How you doing, buddy? trusty cat sidekick. Hello. How are you doing today? He's like, it's what? hot. It's hot. It's hot in Vancouver. Hot. Why so hot? And uh, welcome, Ground Trooper. He says he just got back from a messy IT morning at my stores, and here you are streaming. <laughs> I don't know how they're related, but we are here streaming. We are. Just it's for true. you. You can sit back, relax, and forget all about those wires and, and inputs and wrong plugs and all that kind of bad stuff. And so let's... Uh, Oh, and also I got in the mail um, Atari 2600 Programming for Newbies by Andrew Davey and edited by, is it, yeah, it's right, Andrew Davey and flip it over and I can read it right there, actually easier. This is the printed version of the Atari 2600 Program Tutorials by Andrew Davey that he originally posted in the Atari Age forums between May 2003 and April 2012, edited by Dion Olsthorn, who is Dionoid in the forums and here as well, because uh, I think I talked about it on another show. I ordered this from Lulu Press, where you can just upload PDFs and make your own books and stuff. Right, right. And I got it, and it was on my doorstep, and the flap was open, and there was no book inside. Ah. Uh, and. And someone was at home. Uh, and they were like, ooh, I got a free programming guide. Y yeah. <laughs> do, do, I do, bet. Do, 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 do. Maybe oh. they'll send a game in. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we'll make up Maybe for it. Maybe it will have been worth it. Yep. Do their penance and make a good video game from it. Um, I don't think it was stolen. I think it fell out because also the book before that that I ordered from Lulu, the flap was open as well. Like it was terrible glue they're using. But this one came sealed. It arrived. I'm an I'm a programming newbie, so this will help me make my first games. And I have a a folder full of games that I want to make. There's like 20 games in there. I've seen some of them. They're all awesome. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. They are. Look out 2019. 2020. Let's let's say 2020. 20, no, I could do it in 2019. Look out 2030. <laughs> That's right. Cuz by then you'll all have played it and yeah. <laughs> So that's that's fun. That'll be good. 
Um, any other news? Yeah, I got some high scores on Wednesday for Draconian because there was a high score uh, contest. Ah. I was only beaten by the guy who puts on the contest. Ah. Which <laughs> does that count? No, it does not count. Of course, it even counts. though he is counting because he makes up the rules and his rules say it he counts. counts. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I approve. I say. <laughs> I say never stop participating in those tournaments unless they start becoming worth money, in mm. which case you will have to. What um, the hell happened? Maybe. What? Ah. Weird. How what? did that switch over? What? Cats. I blame cats. Sorry. They. I think they were able to hear us anyway. Yeah, you are able to hear us. Oh, okay. You knew what our faces looked like. Oh, so like. The, you did not see the book. Hand me the book. Yeah. No, no, I saw the book on that screen. You guys saw the book. Anyway, you can do it quick. Quick! Um, so that's front, <laughs> and here's the back coming up. That's too close. That's perfect. There you go. That's perfect. <laughs> and there's the back. You probably did see it. There we go. But thank you for letting me know, I suppose to. So one of your new neighbors will be programming a new game any day now. <laughs> yes, I'll be watching out for anybody in Vancouver <laughs> that is submitting <laughs> games on online, and we will chastise that game and harsh, harshly criticize it. Unless it's very good. Yes. And then we'll 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 chalk it up to, <laughs> I will chalk it up to worth James' money. Yeah, but they sent me that one for free. <laughs> oh, that's so good. it's all good. Everybody's wins except for Lulu Press. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, get get into the games. What do you think? Yeah? Let's do it. Let's dive into the games. Uh, let's switch over to the games. There we go. So there's our games. And uh, your first, and we're going to be doing Quantum Tunnel. Maybe do somebody I have to do any uh, magic stuff? No, no, that's only when we turn it on. So go down. We're playing version 8 of it. The newest version, obviously. And I think the volume's up, but we'll see. We'll see how All that right, goes. Alright, I must press fire to begin. Yes, you must. Okay, so your oh, objectives are to get the squares, the flashing squares, and nothing else. Don't run into anything else. Things that will kill you... Ah! Are those ships? The walls won't kill you. Oh, yeah, the ships. Yeah. What? Are, what do the walls just lose? They bounce points? you around. Oh, I see. Yeah, but they they just kind of make your life difficult. Second. So you get three lives. So all is not lost. And your goal is to get the same color oh. in a row for ah, maximum bonus. Um, you still ah! get you still oh. get points. Oh, oh. Up, up, up. <laughs> you still get points for all colors. But you get more points, cumulative, if you keep getting green or you keep getting yellow. My preference is green, but... I prefer green, like... but I got stuck on yellow because... <laughs> oh, you hit Now I'm green. on green. And you can switch at any time. It, there's no penalty. You there just... is. There's a penalty. Well, there's penalty, penalty for stopping. Penalty is that you have fewer points. For stopping, yes. Um, so this is made by Jared Gray West. Um, the same guy who wrote Spies in the Night and Lost Cat. Uh, we will be playing... Oh. Lost Cat at some point. Oh. It's on the roster. Um, so he posted the or original game on July 8th. He says, Hello all, I've been working on cleaning up and finishing some of my old experimental games. First up is Quantum Tunnel. Oh, I died. The game used to be called Atomic Disco 2 when it was first posted a couple several years ago. I don't know where that name came from, but uh, Quantum Tunnel I think works a little bit more appropriately because you are... In a tunnel. Where the quantum comes from? I don't know. Yeah, the walls kind of just toss you to the side randomly in one direction. Um, I think to the center. Do they toss you to the center? They bounce you the direction that you um, hit them from. But what if you're not moving? That one bounced you to the center. That one bounced you to the center. No, it's bouncing you up. And that one's down. Random. I'm going to go random for now. Uh, I would be looking to make an old school abstract. I was looking to make an old school abstract Twitch game. Uh, there's minimal story, just fast action. I also wanted to see how many objects I could get moving on the screen at once with the standard uh, Batari basic kernel. So this is programmed in uh, Batari. Ah, you went right for it. You went right for it. That's literally how you get hit by things. <laughs> it's the only way. True. You have to run into them. Um, so you can continue on with instructions. I'm going to take a drink before I get a high score. 
<laughs> my last high score was like 59,000 and he got 60. So that's what I'm that's what I'm aiming to beat is the 60. Instructions, you're the blue particle on the left side of the screen. Oh, don't press that button. That turns it off. <laughs> that's the off button. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Um, ah, that's bloody. the worst. Ah. It's the worst. <laughs> It is the worst. Your, your goal is to power up by collecting strings like colored particles. Strings? Your goal is to power up by collecting strings of light colored particles. That's oh. why it's quantum. Oh. Because uh, you're ah. collecting strings. Ah, I got a yellow. Move the particle up and down with the joystick. Your particle has momentum and will not stop immediately when you release the stick. Learning to move accurately is key to high scores. Ah. You must have learned that one. <laughs> yes, well, not for demonstrating it very well here, but... Uh... You begin with three lives. Avoid the nanobots. Touching these will cost one life. Touching the sides of the tunnel or obstacles will cause your particle to bounce around, potentially throwing you into something you don't want. Yes. And like keeping those you enemies. from knowing how fast you're going. Keeping like you that. knowing from how fast you're going? Well, you can either know how fast or where you are. You can't Oh, I see your cleverness there. Very, very uh, there are two types of collectible ah. particles in the tunnel, yellow and green. You can collect either type, but you'll want to continue collecting particles of the same color in order to increase your bonus multiplier. For example, the first green particle is worth zero points. Zero. If you collect another green particle, so you, you receive 100, so then 125. So if you go z if you go yellow, green, yellow, green, Nothing. You, you get zero points, no matter how many times you do yeah. it. So you get 100 for the second, 125 for the next, and so on until you reach a maximum ah. of 500 points per green particle. Okay. The color oh. of your score indicates the color of the last particle. Green. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what? Your score is green, therefore green is the one that you're multiplying oh, right now. Oh, that's handy if you forget. Yeah. If you have been collecting green particles, but you accidentally touch a yellow particle, you will receive zero ah. points, and the bonus multiplier will reset. Okay. Yep. Stop time power. The status bar at the lower right indicates how much stop time power you have curr oh, currently yeah. have. By pressing the red button... Forgot to tell you about that one. ...will freeze everything in the tunnel except you. Use this ability to dodge nanobots, avoiding tunnel obstacles, or position yourself to pick up particles. I've, I've never felt a big desire to use that power. Like, um, I'll demonstrate it there. I'll go... Oh, oh see, I messed up, but... You can stop and then move out of the way of something. Mm -hmm. There. But it's like, meh. It's, it's such high action that it's 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 too crazy to, to use I that, I found. Used it. I you could have used it. Because I'm, I'm more... Oh, oh zero! Oh, zero again. <laughs> okay. It does get faster. It does start moving faster. At, I can't remember what score it is. Maybe it's in the manual. When your bonus multiplier is at the maximum, ah. after picking up 10 particles of the same color in a row, you will also receive a bonus to your stop time power meter. Ah. The farther you advance in the game, the more difficult progress will become, as more and more obstacles appear in the tunnel, and enemies speed up. Eventually, even your stop time power weakens and will only slow the enemies and particles rather than stopping them completely. Oh, it only slows them. Don't That's give up. Though extra lives are awarded at 30k, 90k, 150k, and 300k. So 300k. If you're really good, you might get one extra person. So I don't did, give up. But I did get one. I did get one so far. What was the second? 90. Level? 90. Oh my god. Yeah. So you've never reached that. No. According to you. Yes. F 59 was my biggest one. Yeah. Not enough. Oh. Do it better. Oh, here we go. Sped up at 45. I don't know. 47. What I don't, I don't know, know when. I don't know what the threshold was of, like, speeding up. Ah, oh, it's too it. bad that you did that. And that. <laughs> it is very and that. Oh. Spammers are fun. Oh! Spammers are fun. The left difficulty me. switch in the B position gives you some stop time power to begin with. If oh. this switch is in the A position, you begin the game with none and will have to earn it by capturing particles. I think we're in the B. I haven't looked at my switches in a while. Which is the left or the right uh, <coughs> difficulty? A or Left difficulty. Left difficulty, okay. Yeah. And that is in B right now. Update version 8, July 14th. Changes. Oh. This is the. Goodness. We have the new one. Mm -hmm. With some guidance from Revenge. Oh. Who? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the score on the title screen is now fixed and correct. Yay. Added a death animation and explosion sound. Yes. 
Tune the difficulty. The game now begins with obstacles appearing slightly more often in the tunnel, and their frequency increases slowly but steadily. I also remove some extra lives. That would not me. I'm just reading what it says here. <laughs> Quote. Remove some quotes. extra lives <laughs> that were given out early in the game. The extra lives now appear at 30, 45, 90, 150, Oh, oh I got an extra 300. life again. <laughs> 30, 45, 50? Yeah, that's different than wow. what it said before. That's one generous. 150. 30, 45, 90, 150. Oh, okay, so he added the 45 in. Yeah. Okay, that's nice of him. It's, he said he removed extra lives, though. What? Because there wasn't a 45. And the was... enemy speed-up happened slightly earlier in the game at 45 cave. Uh, yeah, so that was the speed-up at 45. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's being a bastard, too. It's like putting greens and then a yellow right beyond the green. Yeah, it's, that's, that's clever. It is. Hey, see? It's doing it again. Ah! Oh! Reset. <laughs> I'm almost at 60! <laughs> Close. But you haven't lost any lives yet. So. Well, technically, I've, I've lost two, but I oh, gained I two. I see. So I'm doing really good. I just mean But that, that score um, was on the old version of the game, so you can't really compare old scores on different versions. Because they play differently, and you get different lives. You can compare them. <laughs> Not well. <laughs> you, you have to make estimations, and, and, and you have to try to compare them, but you can compare them. True. Ah, I had a Just yellow like one again. Just you can compare apples and oranges. <laughs> yes, the oranges tend round. to be more orange, and the apples tend to be less orange. <laughs> Tends True. to be. Have you seen an orange apple? Golden apples. I've seen sort of orangish. I've seen apples that you might describe as orange if it wasn't for such things as oranges. <laughs> yeah, oranges are peaches. really orange. Hence the name. Now, okay. Now, did the so, hmm? word orange come first do not know and then they went hey this fruit is really orange or the we, color yeah i bet it's the color because that's ridiculous to to not have the word orange people beforehand used to just say that color you know <laughs> well, that have, bright one that yeah. is sort of like the sun when it's not quite sunset but close because they didn't have a, a word for blue what, what was it blue there was a, a certain uh, hue of blue at some point, or turquoise, hmm. um, that there was no word for for the longest time. I can't remember the reasoning behind that. Hmm. There might be uh, I, colors that there's no word for now that later people will be like, why didn't they have the color for a Blomorsk <laughs> That's right. It's I mean, so it's useful this very now. notable with, you know, the proper spectrometer. You can tell that this color is this color. And it's no one so, knew. It's so obvious. People were so ignorant back then. Okay, so still to do. Might add, I might add, not me again. Nope. <laughs> not <laughs> not the music programmer. The title screen. I still have a, around four kilobits ah. left out of 16 kilobits. That's, uh, That's a lot of kilobits. A lot. That's a lot. You can do a lot with that. I'm going to tune the enemy generator so the particles aren't sometimes generated so closely together on the y-axis. Eh. Well, no. You were just complaining about it. Yeah, so it should be like that. No, to make it harder. I, I, I don't like it because it's harder, but it should be there. Oh, it just sped up, I think, again. <laughs> Saving the high score and <laughs> alternating between the last score and the high score on the title screen. Any other suggestions that might come along? Yeah, it's too easy. My own top score is somewhere <laughs> between 60,000 range. This game's too easy. What? I, I'm still going. Yeah, and you still have a long way to go before you get all your free men. True. That is true. What is the, what is the chat talking about? Because I can't uh, read it. That Andrew okay. Davy book was what started Ball Blazer. Okay, cool. Ball Blazer is uh, a very cool game. I suppose to said that. And Ground Trooper, maybe some called Package Thief or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I suppose to says that is a unique use of layering different sizes. Also, I wouldn't have guessed this is the old BB with just two players. Yeah. And it in died. Spanish, the fruit isn't the same word as the color orange. Uh, okay. Wonder which Prove language. it! <laughs> I wonder which languages it is uh, the same in. Probably English. Just English. Yeah. But maybe not. 
I wouldn't. I would not assume that like that, is it that a, naming mechanism was universal. Like for, in French, it's orange. L'orange. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> clearly, I was wrong about that. Always take anything I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> You're close to your next uh, free. Uh... Is it? Oh, it's ninety, right? Mm -hmm. But Ooh, not if you keep was... switching colors. You'll never get there then. No, you I can play this game forever and get zero. And get zero. That is unique. If you were oh, that should be your challenge. Next challenge is see how long you can play it without getting any points. <laughs> but you still have to be getting tokens every like ten seconds. <laughs> That's right. That could be a um, that could be a variation game. It's like you have a countdown timer, <laughs> and you have to keep collecting items, but alternating. Oh, there were. Oh, I haven't been God. watching because I've been reading. But had there been a lot of multiple nanobots on the screen at the same time? Because there were two at the same time, side by side. Uh, that seems the to bad be a guys, particularly, yeah. Uh, the killers. Yeah. Um, I have not been noticing that. On like those ones are like that. Side um, by side. they are increasing. They they were douche nozzles. Yep, and it's good. I mean, they should be like that. I'm pretty high up on the level. Oh. I have the world record. World record. I love saying that when it's a work in progress game and hardly anybody has <laughs> played it, and I have, I get a decent score. And I can declare it world record because nobody can dispute it. What do the blue obstacles <laughs> do? The blue uh, walls, when you hit them, they push Boing. you in some direction. They we just... haven't determined if it's random or if there's some mechanism behind it yet. Yeah, like look at that one. Push me down, push me up. So... But you had been going one direction. Down. So it might have to do with which direction you were going. Or it might be random. Up. Up. Yeah, it's up. This is not the time Down. to test. <laughs> In the slow, easy part. Well, yay! 90,000 free, free player. Did you get one? I, oh, because you, you died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were, like totally died and <laughs> such. Have you used Fail. your uh, bullet time yet? No, I, I don't find it useful. I find it just how, like, distracting. How can you say you don't find it useful <laughs> when you don't use it? Yeah, you could say you haven't point. used it. Case you haven't, point. No, no. That's only you don't think it would be useful. Not finding it useful means that you I use it, but do. it doesn't work. Watch this. There. <laughs> Slow down the game. It's cheaty. This is a one of those rapid fire joysticks that you can time your time your buttons out. That's very cheaty. Though. What? Why was? Oh, because it. it but, it went back Does and it forth. in alternate? Oh, I see. Yeah. So you're not like using it constantly. It's more right. of like a slowing time you got down. More slowing from it. Yeah. Ah. The game's too easy. This is my first time, first-ish time playing the game. I played it on the Retron 77 for a tiny bit. Um. And yeah, what do you what do you think? I think it's too easy. It's too easy. Needs more obstacles. Needs more. Uh, the bad guys need to speed up. That was, it should that be, be noted that I played for a while on my first game too. Yeah, and that's more. That's not more notable, but it's. But it's an awesome game. Like the the level design and the things that you have to pick up. The flashing is what it needs super is awesome. homing missiles that will that will just every once in a while they'll come in and kill you and end your game so that you can't say it's too easy. Yes, because it's if they're not going directly at, they're just kind of drifting, right? It's the only difficult part comes in when one of those things shoves you, like that almost shoves you into one of the enemies. Yeah, you could make the it's very uh, what you could do is them. add more of those walls yeah. and uh, leave gaps that are smaller. Yep. So that you're forced to try to go through them or risk uh, losing control of your monster. Yep, and f uh, particle faster enemy ships, because right now they just leisurely cross the screen and like super easy to avoid. You just have to make sure you're not gonna hit a blue when they are near where you are. It's like, look, just move out of the way. Super easy. If I wasn't going after any of like for points, it'd be like just avoid the blue sections. You can barely touch the joystick and survive totally fine. Yeah, but like it's not a survival game; it's a points game. True. 
like being able to survive doesn't mean you're doing well. But you should you have, have to have do taken, both. To get a hundred thousand points, you have taken an inordinate amount of time. <laughs> Like, you yes. are doing terrible at this game. Why are you playing this game so bad? I don't care if you're alive. You just got 100,000 points. We've been here all day. I know. Um, See, you just need to change your perspective to understand. The best games you are just, a, ba what? a balance of risk and reward. Right now, you don't have to risk anything, ever. And the, there's, there's no risk. But you risk. don't get the reward if you yeah. don't risk. You have but to the, risk to get the reward. The reward isn't enough like there's no levels like you're not oh level four oh i made it to level four it's just so you need continuous. to be punched in the face so that you can feel <laughs> the sensation of not being punched in the face yes okay that's right you can enjoy the non-face punched in feeling <laughs> that, you, that you get without getting your face punched <laughs> uh the, it's like when, it's like when you're sick and then when you're finally not sick, you appreciate not being sick. Okay, how about this? But, yeah, I do know what you mean. But yeah, when yeah. you're just generally not yeah. sick, you're like uh, even like uh, moments, life is bad. even like moments after no longer being sick, you stop being, <laughs> you stop appreciating it. You do. That's the new norm. <laughs> okay, so how about this? Is another uh, another way to add difficulty? Yes. If you if you get if you switch without having gotten any points. Uh, you either die or you like take a hit point damage and if it happens three times you die or something yes. like that so that you can't accident like switching back and forth has a cost to it if you have to have at least gotten two of the same type without taking damage or yeah something some like sort that. of timer countdown penalty thing mm -hmm. where it's like no you have to get these points like they are points but if you don't get points you're also going to be penalized by eventually dying like another timer like like, the slowdown is is a cool thing. Yeah, the ships now continuously go. They used to stop. Um, but I don't find it, like, a, as a game mechanic, something that I'm interested in. Maybe some other people are. Like, when you play next, you can tell me if... Like, I'm gonna... I, I want to give up, like, and stop playing. Cause well, we have four play, games, so I'm we've got to move on anyway. We do. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna die on purpose. Oh, you say that, but I don't know. <laughs> You're not sure if I died on purpose. I'm not sure. If there's any. I'm not. No, no. We'll move on to. The we'll next move on. One. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Uh, hold down the middle button, please. Oh, just a sec. Okay, there. So there's some. Uh, yeah. So there is. Oh, there is. Uh, I love the game, and I want to. I want it to be better. Yeah. I really, really want it to be better because it is awesome. So the blue uh, um, walls, Oops. they move you, and also when you stop moving, you continue moving a little bit. Oh, momentum. You have some momentum. Yes. Yeah. And it's great momentum. It's yeah, really, yeah. really good. World record headquarters. Da da da. 108. Th no, somebody can beat that like in two seconds. I, I uh, contest that it would take longer than two seconds. <laughs> As long as I took. Even shorter, in fact. Even shorter, because you did terrible. In terrible! You took so long! In terms of, of uh, score velocity. That's right, your score, your score, score velocity. Your score velocity was poor. It's like <laughs> points over time is yeah. score velocity. That's right. <laughs> I wonder if anybody has ever used that word combination. And, score velocity. And, and uh, the score C is when you reach the maximum... <laughs> Uh, velocity of score. of score. Yes, you can't and go there faster is one. than yeah. The the how is fast you can collect green dots yeah. in that game is the sp the C. In no matter game. how quickly you accelerate, you can't go past <laughs> score C. No, you can't. <laughs> okay, let's go on to Satan's Hollow. Have you ever played this game before? I played I it a lot so. when I had a, C a Commodore sixty four. You may have seen me play it. Maybe back in the eighties. This was made in 2013, I suspect. Yes, it was, but I supposed to... Uh, so, oh, actually, I was going to play... Uh, one second. The arcade version of this. So people can see... Oh, but then I would... Um, what it looks like. Know how it works. Uh, it's, yeah, this game is incomplete, so it's oh, okay, okay that you'll see how it works. Um, what? There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> Just took a bit. Okay, so here's the arcade version of it. 
Um, let me just fast forward a bit to where there's sound. I think we aren't hearing sound. Oh, oh. Mute up. You won't be able to hear us for a bit. Uh, I don't think this has uh, a, I don't think this has it's a, like Galaga. Galaga. Um, yeah, you uh, Galaga, 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 men your lives ah from the and, bottom below you and in, in the same way galaga does too because yeah, yeah. they steal your ship but yeah. usually it's done on purpose um so let's switch back to modern day <laughs> <laughs> and it's a very ambitious game to try and make that is for sure because of all the uh little dudes on the screen so let's both the same yeah one second, let's do it so it's not. <laughs> That's what's active. Yes. Yeah. So this is Ice Posters, and this was done a while back. So this is uh, delving Wait, back into the days. It? Oh, I think I have to do it here. Oh. Or not. Can you press? Oh, you know what? I remember trying to get this working, and it doesn't work with that. Uh, we think we have to plug in a different joystick. Wait, I'll start. press start. No, no, start. Why does start not work? Because it's not a Genesis. Mega no. fire! Mega fire! <laughs> what should we use? We'll use this. Alright. So the bridge building is working in this. Bridge building, that sounds okay. complicated. There we go. Oh, maybe I just had to hold the button. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Joystick right and left. Yeah. Joystick right, left, fire. And you have to let it go. There you go. You hit it. And then you get your bridge piece, that little white. Pick it up and go build the bridge on the right. There you go. And repeat. So he's, the graphics are amazing. Like, look at the tower and the sky, the purple sky. Unbelievable. I love, love the graphics that he's done so far. It is like I never thought it would be this good. Um, obviously, the enemies are just like in a holding pattern and you can't actually kill them yet. Um, but their movement is very similar and they don't dive yet and they don't shoot you. But shooting them does work and picking up the pieces. Um, is this ROM available? Uh, yes, it is. It is very old. Um, let me post it in the forums so you guys can download that too. Yeah, this is not a secret ROM that I was sent. There you go. There you go, ground trooper. So you're almost done the bridge. Two more pieces. And I don't. I can't remember what happens. I think it just resets. And it, oh, plays a little tune. Oh, it does go into the other screen. Okay, that's cool. And plays the music. Very good job in the music. Obviously, it's Ice Posta. He's the music dude. My favorite thing about this game is that I have not died yet. Because <laughs> it's impossible. Oh, no. what? Don't take that away from me. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a very faithful work in progress. Oh, oh, you can build some more bridges. You did it! Keep going to the right. Okay, and then it repeats. Ah. So that's that's the game so that's far. It? Okay. But cool. it's a like the basics are all there. Yeah, I, I see all why you uh, showed us the original one. It, it does give it like really good context. So. Yeah, because if you didn't see it, it'd be like, oh, what is what's happening? I don't know what's going on. I will say that I do not like this joystick. No. 
I keep finding dead spots where it won't move, where it doesn't move. Like if it's on uh, any sort of an ed corner. That's the programmer. <laughs> yeah, if... Who do I blame? I supposed to. Oh my gosh, I had a complaint. <laughs> this game is not right, working correctly. Yeah, Actually, I've... you know what it is? It's like... Maybe it is the joystick, because like... Press down and then left and right. That works. And up and left and right works. Oh. But like sometimes I push over and it just doesn't do anything. Oh, I bet it's the joystick then. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I like this one. This is like the ultimate Atari 2600 joystick because it's arcade, arcade mm. style. For most games. For some games, um, it's not as good. So we're going to move on to the next. Oh, I didn't switch the bloody... Uh... Okay, we'll do it for right now. There we go. Satan's Hollow. <laughs> for the last second. What happened? Oh, I, I see. I didn't yeah, switch yeah. the graphic. Well, you've been much better at that lately, so I have, we so won't we won't bust you too your chops too harsh over it. There we go. I didn't even know how to debounce the shots. Yeah, so you have to let go. Like you're like you have you're, to hold on to it, and then when you let go, the bullet disappears. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But that lets you, if you know you're going to miss, it lets you shoot again. Yeah, so you can recall your shot. Mm -hmm. But most games, that's not how you should do it. But that's how the 2600 is programmed by default. Did you know there's a cat right here? There is! Is he on camera? Oh, his feet are. See the cat feet? Look at those toes. Cat feet. Toes! So the next one, there you go, uh, oh, is... You I will change that. Or was that what you were about to do? Yeah. Okay. Palomino. So. And this one is also old. And the guy uh, who programmed it, uh, Simo, and also the Golden Band, uh, has not been on the forums. You can go ahead and start it off. It's Palomino. Uh, has not been on the forums since 2015. Senator Humber? 15, uh, 727, today's date. Oh, the, ah, so clever. So I only have to select from, uh, not the PDF, obviously. <laughs> 2600s can't render PDFs. Welcome to Palomino. <laughs> <laughs> Press fire. I do as I'm told. Get ready. Right. Get ready. Doing as I told. Okay. Ah! It is Tetris with a twist. You're constructing the pieces, with the one with the arrow pointing to it. So you have to pick them up and place them. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's not clear. So you've got a piece picked up, mm -hmm. and you have to construct the thing that the arrow is pointing to. So two vertical, and then below it, two horizontal. Anywhere. Anywhere in the screen. Yeah, but this has two vertical. How do I get two horizontal? Uh, they have to be blue. So now you've got a piece, and yeah, that kind of works. Now I've got two vertical, and pick up two more. You can pick two up at a time, too, as well. Or four. Oh. No, that's the wrong pattern. No, it is the yeah. wrong pattern. Nobody, nobody needs to tell me that. <laughs> I know that's wrong. Uh, so this was first posted on the Atari Age forums in 2013, April 6th. Uh, he says, uh, Palomino says, oh, I, uh, Hi, I've been working recently on a Palomino no, a puzzle game for the 2600. No. That does work. Didn't work. Go, go, go. And fix it up. It there we go. Okay. I attached the latest blah 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 blah. Thanks to Ice Bosta. So Ice Bosta has something to do with this. I'm guessing the music. He's the music dude. So. Oh, you know what? Is it playing the music of what's on the screen? That's really cool. That is really cool. So it's playing like the notes on the screen. Huh. Uh, and apparently there's Atari Box support. Did you guys hear something said? Because we can't. Oh, I have to. Go, go, we can't go. hear it. Oh, oh it you got work. Okay. Eventually, oh, no, hey, eventually it'll start picking up things that you haven't even put together because there's so many things on the screen. Uh, plug in a joystick port one, plug in an optional Atari Vox or uh, save key in port two. Excellent. If Atari Vox is plugged in, it will produce speech during gameplay. Have you guys been hearing it? We can't hear it here because of the setup. Because there's going to be like nasty feedback. 
If... So it seemed like I was constantly dying, but I didn't see what was causing me to die in that play. Okay. It was cool. I liked it. The game. But I didn't... It wasn't clear to me... Exactly. How to like, do the it? bar that looked like the bar of death passed me like a million times and didn't kill me. Oh, and so yeah. it wasn't clear to me what was going to end my run. I'll watch when you're doing it, though. Where, where were you? Uh, right at the top of... Uh, console switches. All right. Yeah. Ice Bosa says, I like Palomino. I didn't know I helped with this. Yes, yeah, speech is funny. <laughs> <laughs> so he can't, he can't remember helping. <laughs> That's really weird. So, red, I need to make a classic kind of Tetris piece, that L piece. And the next one is a red bridgey piece. Yeah. Ah. And next is that. See, it hasn't gone for blue yet, oh, well, so I'm a little bit worried that the blue is gonna... Oh, there we go. So, what? Oh, when pieces go off the end, is that it? I don't know. I'm not sure yet, actually. Maybe. It changes the direction that it goes, too. Next is this. Oh, um. go, go, go. There's no way oh, to keep... Oh, it goes back and forth. Ah. So you can pick up two? At four? Yeah, yeah. So, so I can do two. that. Great. And do that. Oh, um. That's another classic Tetris. So you can kind of collect them on your way. Yeah. But it's you can't keep up. The thing so that slowed me down is my win. poor uh, joystick uh, dexterity. It is uh, very responsive, let's say. What? There's no yellow! Oh, I have to make them. Make them? What do you mean? Red and, red and green. Red blue. and blue. Right? That's what I'm guessing. Unless I'm totally mistaken. No, yellow and blue make green. Oh, well, no, no, oh, no. Oh, did that work? What? Do I just have to make a bunch of them? Oh, yellow's any Ooh. color. So this is like um, screen clearing mode. Wonder Except if... for it's over now. Oh. Now you're back to the classic. <laughs> you figured it out. Remember for next time. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, and this is really, really of the complexity the visual well complexity done. is i've never seen something so densely complex on a 2600 like in Great. terms of yeah. tiny graphics that you have to manipulate so this kind of gives hope to like really complex um puzzle but, puzzle games oh, oh, oh. where do you lose where like where are you losing points? I have oh, I can... no idea. Oh, I don't. Well, really, I only know how away. to play. To you're done. But I don't know how to lose. Oh, it built it for me. Like and the 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 Ooh. instructions when we read them will be uh, uh, interesting because it'll tell us why it changes direction and whatnot. There. This is like I, this. Uh, this is like a cleanup screen. Yeah. Bonus mode. It's any square whatsoever. So it's like start building squares. Just go nuts with the squares. Make oh no. Make squares. What? Oh, it's over. Is it? What? How come it's not working anymore? You're not making squares of all the same color. You're stopping. Yeah, they have to be the same color. Oh, okay. I thought it was like mixed color. Just I was all. wondering. I was wondering why it. Why um. Oh, now you... Yeah. Once you've combined you them, you can't uncombine them. That's interesting. Excellent. Uh, no, it's it's that once you've got two colors, you can't stack the same color on top of the same color. You also can't separate the, the green. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, how would you? There's only an on and off, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Ah, messing up. There we go. Great. I don't know. There's a there's a little timer. Is that I have to complete it in that amount of time? The next thing is it counting down. Is that what's going on? Ah, too many in pieces. Oh no, now it's gone beyond what I was even making. Ah. Next is that. Hey. Um, the 
the cubes count down when you succeed. Oh, so maybe when you get rid of those, you get the cleanup bonus mode. Uh... Once all those cubes are gone. And then, I guess it's a timer, and the timer gets... Ref I'm just guessing, because you were doing them quick enough to keep the timer at the top, I think. Yes. I think uh... it, what it is is that the timer... Ah, ah, ah. There we go. Hey, bonus mode. I got three of them so far. Oh, no, it's over. Yeah. Oh, there's eight squares there. Yeah, those eight squares, that, as you complete one, the, the squares disappear, and then you get a bonus mode. Okay. And I think the purple timer goes down. Oh, these are complex ones. Uh, the purple timer goes down when you're not having completed anything. Yep. And... Oh, maybe it's just you have that much time to get to the bonus mode. Oh, uh, yeah, because it, it doesn't reset. But it stays pretty high. Yeah, I don't think it, it only goes down, I think. Only down. It doesn't reset it ever. When you get... Oh, no, it's... That's annoying when I'm building something, then it automatically gets it. It's like, no, I was wasting my time. So hard to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> that messes you up. Don't play on the sides of the screen. There yeah. we go. Excellent. Uh, I'm almost done. Oh, it said, oh yeah, at the bottom. Oh yeah. It's cheering you on. Oh, oh yeah. It's nice when the, the game wants you to win. It, it wants is. you to succeed. <laughs> that is nice. Brethren, One more suck. and you get your bonus round. Bonus mode. Okay, bonus. There's lots. And the timer goes Excellent. down pretty quick, so... And, then, and that's the bonus timer. Yeah. Okay. Ah, 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 no, ah. Oh, I almost got it. I picked up too many. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's almost over. Excellent. Right. You got that last one. Oh. That's it. You're on level two. I that's don't, it? I don't know but when, I've been through, like, I don't know two when bonuses. the level switches, though. It didn't say, it didn't just say level two, so that might have switched a long time ago. Oh, and I haven't just haven't made it to level three. Ah. Oh my god. Now it's difficult because there's too many things on the screen. Yeah. I mean, yes, it's picking up magically ones that... It's not magical, it's science. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't place. Um, but it's also super difficult. Ugh. Um, because I, I'm moving ten at a time. Well, no. Four. <laughs> How are we for time? We're, we're good. Oh, good. Okay, because this is the third game? Yep. Oh, we're really good, actually. Go, go, go. Excellent. Um. Well, the first game was too easy. <laughs> too easy. And the second game was no, no, no. early. In, yeah, in so development. So you couldn't so do much with it. I, I still, I, I feel the need to, to uh, take credit for having completed it. <laughs> yes, you played it to its <laughs> to fullest degree, extent. To the degree, you, I beat it on my first try. That's so true. I guess you did you everything. Might say that that game was also too easy. <laughs> <laughs> it is not an easy game, that's for sure. <laughs> Once it's done. Oh my goodness. So what is? The timer is the end. Like you run out of time. Yeah, when you when you are we're... like a slowpoke, as <laughs> some uh, people in the room could be accused of. Could be accused <laughs> of. <laughs> um, it it uh, it ends. No, no, yeah. no. And I still have five more to make in this level, or level, because I've completed many levels. Three. In my opinion. It's the opposite. Let's do it there. Oh no! Oh. I'm the wrong one! Let's go down. There you go. Ah! Ah! Oh, too slow. There you go. And now I need the other one. Uh, oh, uh, oh, it did it for me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've Changed got the colors now. now. Oh, it is! It's got more. I don't know. Oh, because you're on level three! Congratulations! Well, Welcome it, to level three! It's so arbitrary though. Like, uh, I, was but is it? Of, I was in the middle of doing something. Is it score? I think you mean it appears to be arbitrary. <laughs> <laughs> it appears to be arbitrary. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I just say things. I I, I don't always um, <laughs> say things that matter. <laughs> oh, it's different. Oh, no, changed. no, that's right. Oh, it's the next one. Do something else. Leave that one and then move on to another. Oh. There. What? Oh, wrong color. The colors are getting subtle. That that's is part of that's part of the difficulty, perhaps. I think so. Punish you for color blindness. <laughs> yeah, this is not a, not a game <laughs> for people who cannot. Hey. Bonus, just destroy. Yeah, There's lots here. Perfect. There's lots. Destroy, Ooh. destroy them, my robots. Ah, something's in the way there. Oh, there's too many things in the way all over the place. Goodness. And not, and not enough squares. Oh, on six. I think it continues. Did you... No. Oh, it's over. The funny oh. games have ended. This is well, the games stressful. have. Oh, see the next one. Oh my God, we are upping. Ermagerds. Ermagerds, indeed. Excellent. There we go. Now, now it's now the shizzle has hit, hit the, the fizzle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a lot more challenging. Oh no! Stay there. Stay. And now I just need a long one of those. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh, it shifted after. Gotcha. Um. So are we hearing? Everybody out there in internet land, are you hearing voices in your head? <laughs> Is it a uh, new I, ROM since 2014? Oh, I think. I think. It's uh, in the instructions. I got his uh, answer. The both colors. Because they yeah. have started to show Okay, I'm done. <laughs> this is wrecking my mind. It's really difficult to, to... Here, you can play one more. I'm done. It's wrecking my mind. Oh, <laughs> well. I am going to wreck my mind now. Okay, select... Uh, da, 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 reset the high score. Okay, so I got a good score there. Gameplay the no! field. The field is continuously scanned by a vertical beam that periodically deposits cells in the play field. Each cell can be any of two colors for the current level. The player has to arrange the cells to form the pattern shown on the top of the screen. To do so, the player controls a cursor that can pick up and release the cells in the play field. We got that. What is it saying? What is the Vox saying? Vox you? I'm gonna turn it on. Or can I? Yeah, I'm good. It's difficult. Ah. Ah. Oh. You earned it for me. I... That's there we go. Reverb. <laughs> oh, it says great. Well done. Oh, no. go go. Okay. Oh, so would it say no? Oh, yeah, there. Okay. Uh, da, da, do, do, do. Has to arrange the cells. Controls a cursor. Each pattern has to be composed within the cells of associated colors. Some patterns require cells of special mixed color. And that can be obtained by placing two cells of different colors in the same position. So we got that. When the vertical beam meets the active pattern on the play field, it removes the cells that form it, and the player scores points. A timer is represented by the horizontal bar on the top left. Eight patterns have to be cleared by the beam before the timer expires. So we got that. Oh, you're in bonus mode. Bonus mode. I did... Oh, you must not have placed that in time. Oh, no, it's over. It's over. No! <laughs> Your bonus is over. Uh, it is over. Uh, Let's bonus see. mode. When the eight patterns have been cleared, the game will enter, enter bonus mode, during which the player will have to form as many square-shaped patterns as possible to score points. The number of currently made square patterns is displayed below the square symbol. During bonus mode, it is possible to create vertical rectangles to score twice the points. For every square following the first, 
Each square following the first also counts as two squares cleared. If the player manages to clear ten squares before the timer expires, an extra bonus mode. So if you get ten squares in the bonus mode, you get an extra bonus mode. I'm gonna get an extra bonus in the butt mode here in a second. I'm just gonna get hooper hooped. Uh. Oh my god, we missed a, a critical part of this game. What's that? You can hold the fire button and move left and right to rotate the thing inside what you picked uh. up. Oh my god, that would have been so helpful. So helpful, you can pick it up. So it is like Tetris, what? where you can what? rotate the, the pieces. Oh, wow. Get it. That's like the last line in the whole instructions. <laughs> <laughs> I just skipped down way down there. No! So there's scores for <laughs> scores for bonus modes. I'm getting mad at the game. <laughs> it's giving me this. Giving it's me giving me the sass. <laughs> You're almost at it. Oh, you've got very little time, and you've got oh. five more to make. Just give it sass back. There you go. Four more to make. Three more to make. Well, I made the wrong one, so it was already sort of pre-made. Uh, okay. Uh, mixed color patterns are worth twice the points of normal patterns. This is an amazing, amazing game. And it's all done with Playfield. And just each line has... Oh, so close! One but That's enough. That's enough. I, uh... It messes with your brain. Is it? so much going on. In it's my failure to have, uh... Joystick dexterity. <laughs> Precision? At this point. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't that far in the game that my brain was being melted. It was more that <laughs> I was failing in a control level. Great music. I think Ooh. everything about this game is amazing. It's really good, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's the most complex puzzle game in this sense action puzzle. It's an action puzzle game. Because there's puzzle games where it's like, you can take as much time as you want. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, what was the other game that we were playing the other day? A-Star. A-Star. Yeah, that's just pure puzzle. It's, we sat there and stared at it for five minutes at some point. Um, this is like action puzzle, which is hectic and mind-melting. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. so if you load up the next one, I will change the graphics. Which is white water madness. And, and this we still, was we have still have lots of games left. Three. Lots and we're halfway of through. Games. Lot plenty of games. Lots of games. Fun watching gameplay and playing. <laughs> it definitely is. Well that's good we're entertaining. We try. <laughs> We've had oh, lots of practice I of being entertaining. See. I, I was I was trying to figure out where the madness was in it, but I can madness. see it. Madness. Madness. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> it's madness. Immediate madness. Okay, so this is made by Chris Reed, aka Atari Twenty Six Hundred Land. Uh join Mr. Kayaker on his expedition through the lovely yet dangerous rivers of Newfoundland. This is set in Canada. All right. How many games are set in Canada? Very few. There was a, a, a YouTube show I was uh, I watched last night, um, and they had uh, Strange Brew. Uh, they were reviewing Strange oh. Brew. Oh my God! <laughs> Trying to get me. And in the game, ah. oh. there it, in the in the movie, there's an arcade game called Border Patrol. And there's a Canadian and American flag on the, the side of the arcade game. I don't think they play it in the in the in the movie, but it's like um, I guess defending the U.S. Canadian border. <laughs> the Canadian bacon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Canadian bacon, the game. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, my my short trip down the white water white water ended in. Uh, it ended. It just ended. It just ended. <laughs> so... Oh, I'm supposed to pick up the pretzel, pretzels, not run out of the way? Okay. Pretzels! pretzels. Ah! Okay. Don't you know that rule in video games? Fruit and snacks are A-OK. -okay. Part of my brain knew they were pretzels, but another part thought 
it with a bunch of sticks, which <laughs> is a dangerous thing in rivers. You don't want to get caught in like. And that's true. Yeah. How how many pretzels have you eaten out of a river? Uh, zero. How many logs have you avoided in a river? Many sticks. Many. All, uh, all especially in my mind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when I mean, and in my know, mind, paddling. pretzels in the river. Those are the pretzels you do not eat. You don't eat those ones. No. Do yeah. Just the, avoid those pretzels. Ugh. River pretzels are are bad pretzels. Uh, so where did you get to? Uh, the, the, just the beginning? The list. The list. Oh, did you finish the list? No, I didn't even start it. Okay. The items. Log. It's big. It's heavy. It's wood. So don't bump into it. That's a random Wise. stimpy Rock. Reference. It's big. It's heavy. It's hard. Don't bump into the. Don't bump into this either. Pretzel. Yum. Get this for extra <laughs> points. Beaver. He tries to get you. Try to avoid him. So I was looking through the Yatari part list and wishing I found... White Water Madness, which I think I can do. Yeah. I, t it, I took a few hours and began work on this. I'm envisioning something like a cross between Tubin and Atari's Secret Racer. Street Racer, not Secret Racer. Secret Racer. Secret Racer. Secret Ra <laughs> that sounds pretty good, actually. Secret Racer. <laughs> anyway, got the river park going. We'll be waiting for Secret Racer. The river will get smaller as time goes on, so for now it's really wide. There will be rocks and logs to avoid and stuff to grab for extra points. This is what I have now. Worked on a few things you mentioned. Mr. Kayaker now has a shorter neck. These are things I, I suggested to him. Oh, okay. I, I played the, the beta first version. This is the second version, or third. The beaver now tries to get you. The rocks move slower than the logs until level three. Mr. Kayaker now paddles when you when going backwards. Yep. Um, um, maybe instead of a pretzel, yeah. it could be a fish. Yeah, like a more, salmon. More appropriate for the for the water, that's for sure. And if you really want it to be some sort of fruit, like or <laughs> pretzels aren't fruit, some sort of <laughs> typical gaming thing, you could be a fish eating a pretzel. No, never mind. Just leave your pretzels. They're fine. <laughs> leave your pretzels. Pretzels are fine. Pretzels are fine. I think he's keeping the same color. I think that's why, because everything's brown. All the enemies are brown. Right. Brown rocks, brown beavers, brown pretzels. I don't know why. I'm sure there's only one on the screen at a time. So. You could also switch it so that the beaver is something you try to catch, and when you do, <laughs> you get a hat. <laughs> okay. Right? There you go, and then there's a hat on his head. Yeah. Which is totally doable. It's a vertical sprite. You just keep extending it up with the hat. By the way, I can play this game forever. Because it's too easy. <laughs> it's one of those That's games. It's definitely an otter and not a beaver. An otter. Okay, I'll give you the r river beaver. Frogger caught in the fast-moving water. <laughs> river beaver. That's a beaver. It looked like a big turd coming after you. <laughs> I saw it. It was a bird. I thought it was reason. a slug before I read the instructions. A river slug. <laughs> there are no river slugs, but a slug nonetheless. Okay, I'll tell you why I can play this game forever. Because everything's easy to avoid, including the beavers. Because you just stay at the bottom, and you go, whoop. Um, well, let the beaver catch you. No, because then I lose a life. Do you? Yep. Because I thought the beaver almost caught me a few th times and it seemed like I was losing hit points or something. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. You lose a hit point. You start off with three hit points. And if you touch a beaver, don't touch the beavers. You lose a hit point. But it's very well done, the hit point. It doesn't go doot, 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 and then you're dead. Hmm. It, it, it only takes one from you each individual... Um, time. But if you stay on the bottom, the beaver goes to the bottom, and then you move faster vertically than the beaver. Yeah, yeah. So you can always avoid him. And, you know, why... And then you just go up for the rocks and up for the pretzel. So, it's an issue. <laughs> and I thought the moving beaver would help, because it was a lot easier when the beaver was just on a certain uh, part the, of the screen. Uh, all you need is the beaver and obstacles instead of it being a beaver ah, as yes. one of the obstacles have it. The beaver Both. show up when there are other obstacles. Now, and don't do it right away. Do it like once you get to like the second one or whatever. You know, like make it... Yeah. Because the beaver have to wrap is it up a challenge slowly. to begin with. Yes. It's not much of a challenge. <laughs> I figured it out reasonably quick, but he did get me a couple times. Yeah, yeah. He'll get you at first. <clears throat> but like if you wait till like level two or three... But, you know... And I imagine that that's what you would do anyway, so... Yeah, and it doesn't get harder than this. Once you're at a 
the narrower river. And I've made suggestions where the river it, splits or It seems gets to me that if your head moves. passes the rock, like, is it the boat that has to hit the rock? I think it is just the boat. There, it is a 3D that's perspective. Good. Not obvious, but but good. I'll show you Once with you learn. I'll show you with a pretzel, not that one, because it's not high enough. But the right. next higher pretzel, you can't get it with your head. Right. So watch. Oh, too high. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, come the on, pretzel. pretzel. The next pretzel. Feeling the pressure. Uh, it was too high. Oh, I was too low. Yeah. There. Yeah. See, it passed through my head. Did it? You're yeah. at the end, so I couldn't see. Do it in the middle. Okay, I'll I'll move. Do it better. I'll do it. Do it better. Play better. Just play. That's too low. Oh, you're so now the beavers are going to get me because oh, there was a good demonstration. There we go. That the beaver didn't get me because it passed through my head. There you go. So yeah, have I demonstrated? I, you did enough? it with the with the pretzel too. Yep. The, I was just noting that your head was not being taken off by the rocks. Why is the rower backwards? <clears throat> well, I played him backwards when I did my demo for him, showing that it was too easy, and and he didn't row backwards, and I thought that was funny because he was just kind of sitting there, and it looked like nothing was moving. But now he added the rowing backwards. But you can do it forwards. I don't know why I do that. It's just for fun. <laughs> Why not row backwards? So as you can see, I can play forever, and it is not challenging. I'm but not it's a work in progress, though. So it is. It's still moving, and yeah. you need to play test it like this to sh to expose the weaknesses of your game. So if so far, a summary: we have uh, Quantum Tunnel, too easy. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Satan's Hollow, too easy. <laughs> well, you can't die in that one. <laughs> Uh, what was after that? We had... Uh, the matching game, Palomino. Palomino, too hard! Not too hard. Just kidding. I'm I just played kidding. for quite a while. You're, I, just, you're, I, letting, I, you're letting the truth get in the way of a good story. Here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Have you played this enough? Or I have, do you want to go? I have played it okay. enough, yes. What happened there? Oh, I'm stuck on a beaver. The beaver's like, I, I gotta get past, man. You gotta move. I'm not moving. But you doesn't move. he damage you and go through you? No, that's what I was saying. It's he damaged me once, uh -huh. and it doesn't go ding 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 death. Uh, okay. It's just just once. So you move out of the way, and he's like, "Oh, thank you. I will continue on, and I won't bite you again." He bites you, just uh, as a warning. But he only takes off like one leg or arm. Yeah, one of your limbs. Yes. There we go. Ooh. Punk. <laughs> and the music is fairly relentless, so. That's, that's uh, a bit uh, of a, yeah. an issue. <laughs> but I mean, I like the concept. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, the mega fire's on, that's why. Turn that off. That one never goes off. I don't know what the issue is. I think it has something to do with the Atari. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, uh, but I like yeah. the concept of the game. The Whitewater Madness. Yeah, yeah. I just, it needs more and yep. harder... Uh, so we're on to game number five. Draco. Nope, not that no. one. Draco. Well, why aren't... Why aren't they in order? Because that's the order it just goes in. Well, Unacceptable. That's, that's the order I put it on, because that is yesterday's date, and, and he updated it, so uh, I had to put a new one on. It, gotcha. it puts it in order of date, which is uh, weird. Uh, it's weird that they were in proper order up till then. That's what tricked me. That is... I guess if they're all the same date, then it puts it in alphabetical order. I am frightened. Da, 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 da. It's yeah. a little bit quieter, so I'll turn up the volume. I don't know what I'm shooting. I think this is an avoidance level. Okay, Draco by John Von Neumann. First announced July 20th, so exactly a week ago. <clears throat> So he says, yesterday I started to make an attempt to develop a game for 2600, and today I, I lose. You lose. And today I have a first playable version. It is a shooter with three screens. In the video, you can check it. I need some help to test it because I don't have a harmony card. We do. And I want to know if it works on actual hardware. It does. I have tested it in Stella and Z26. A few changes uh, from his first release. Hit bar point on at the right of the score. I don't see the hit bar point. That's because I only have one left. Oh, okay. And to the right of the score? 
there's a green dot. Is that your hit, po hit point? That's, I believe, the hit point. He must have moved it then. Uh, scrolling star field to apparent speed. So there's a pretty cool little red scrolly thing on the top. That's kind of cool. Um, July 25th new version. I think this is the July 25th version that we're playing. Uh, new version. Better randomness and other corrections. A new stage. A sub boss. Ah, I died. A sub boss and a change in sprites. Uh, my comment. Uh, it reminded me instantly of the game Dragon Spirit. Looking more forward to more developments. Dragon Spirit's a you're at the bottom and it's a shooter. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and you shoot up and other things come at you, but you're a dragon in it. And that's why I was like, oh, you're a dragon. And the and the graphics for um, the dragon is really good. I, I was hiding in the bottom right corner. Actually, that's... And I'm not sure if I was successful. Um, it, I seemed to be, but I, I might have are. gotten hit there. Oh, Ooh, well, that last one was close, actually. Yeah, so I wasn't certain whether or not I was successful there, and if it isn't a perfectly safe spot, then you will take damage because you have zero chance of dodging. Gee, this guy's too easy. I have played this game. A little bit. I knew he was too easy when ah. I uh, defeated him. <laughs> that guy resets. I knew that it was going to be... The second uh, guy's a little harder because he keeps going for it. Yeah. That guy resets at least, and you just have to watch for the bullets. Whoa, this I have not played. Ah! It's the same thing you just did. Except it's with just different that graphics. It's lightning, yeah. Well, let's try that out again. Oh, oh my god. This is a new one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, he resets too. Okay, that's good. Let's get closer. So that one's a bit better because he appears at a random spot rather than the exact same spot. So that's a bit better. But it's still just avoid. Ooh, big. Those are big bullets. Big bullets and big boss. But if you stay at the bottom, you're pretty safe, but you're also not getting them. <laughs> yeah, you've gotten them a few times. Ooh, that was close. That mm -hmm. was close. Yeah, he only goes down so far. Yeah, I think he might actually be safe down here. So I just need to time it. There we go. He has to be at the top. Yep. Ah! Run for safety! <laughs> no, I lost. Nope, it's so not it, safe there. It's not safe. No. Nope. Wow. Lots of... It's a lot of good variation. Um, this level's good. Are you going to try the top left? It's like those DVD bouncing menus. It never gets to the a certain corner. Because of... Oh! Oh! oh. Do you start off with four? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's not safe. Just no. fairly safe. <laughs> so that's not a good tactic. So you can't hide from that. This guy I find real easy. But that's good, because he should be the second guy. And the closer you are, the faster your bullets reset. Yeah, that's why I was staying close. Yeah. This guy's fairly easy, but he does move around a little bit. The second guy was is short, but very hard. Yeah, lots of creativity uh, and animation. Like, the oh. graphics are really good in this. I got the same score as last time. Exactly the same score, I think. 985? <laughs> VHZC, is that his name? Yep. J, no. J, John Van Newman. John Van? No. I don't know what that is, that... Ah! Uh, what I do is stay at the bottom. That gives you a lot of time to dodge. And I got it. <laughs> but it does give you a little bit more time. So it's not too bad. And this guy is easy. Just kind of stay a little bit forward. And you can just hold down the button, actually. Just avoid the last second because he moves with you, so he kind of gets into your line of fire. Yeah. And that guy shoots he very shoots fast. A lot faster, yeah. yeah, that guy's hard as hell. This guy's a little bit easier. What? What? He was very How close did... to you. His bullet came out and hit you. Oh when he God. dies, his bullet doesn't disappear. 
Okay. He gets bounced back, but his bullet stays. Yeah. Wow, Out, that was a terrible you got, score. You got fewer points than me. Bye, Arena Foot. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. He's got he's got a life. <laughs> oh. Unlike us. Stay at the bottom. Gives you room. You already got hit twice. Oh, yeah, man. I know. Because I didn't hide in the corner. Hiding in the corner means you only get hit once, probably. <laughs> Instead of dying. Oh, that was no, you do it again. <laughs> you do that again. <laughs> that was unacceptable. <laughs> I think so. No! Come here. No! <laughs> Come on. Not. I don't, I, oh my your turn. god. I prefer hiding in the corner. <laughs> okay. How do you hide in the corner? What are you oh, doing? Oh, I got hit. I blame it on the cat. And even on the kitty. Yeah, it's your fault. Yes. Oh, now it's definitely your fault if you're nudging my joystick hand. Sorry, I can't give you any love right now. Ah, uh, but if he uh, nudges your joystick hand and you live, then it's his. He gets credit for you living then. That is true. Because he helped. Yep, in his own way, he does like. Maybe you would have moved your joystick in the wrong spot, but he nudged it in the right it's spot. Like, no, you gotta move left here, just a little bit more left. No, no, Pixel. Get him, Pixel. No. Get him. He's almost at my score. <laughs> ah, Pixel. Flip him with your tail, buddy. Get ah. him with that tail. Yeah. Yeah, this guy yeah, is. You smurf him with that tail. Oh, oh. my score. Damn it. Got hit again. Oh, I, I got, got hit lightning. again. Yeah, the lightning no. is tough. Yeah. Last time you defeated this by hiding in the corner. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I lost most of my lives. On hiding in the corner. The raining is the down. Way to go. Oh, people are abandoning us. Dinner. Pfft, bring your dinner to your computer. What are you talking about? <laughs> One more round each. We'll do this one. No, 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 in the corner. You can't eat and watch? Bring your laptop over. Everybody's got tablets and laptops and phones. Who has PCs anymore? All these guys do because they program. See, you install Twitch on your phone. Get some headphones. Be very rude to your family and watch us while eating dinner. But anyway, thank you for watching Lord Monkus. And you can catch us on the YouTubes uh, for all the for the last game that we're gonna play. Oh, oh some protesting going on outside. Children protesting. There's always lots of protesting by children. Usually when they're leaving, because there's a nice park just just across, just right down the road. Um, nope. And so they're very upset when they have to leave the park. Not happy whatsoever. Oh, oh, oh! You didn't get hit that third time, so that was good. But you got, you made it all the way to the, the lightning bolts without getting hit at all. Ah, run! This guy's the same as another level. So this one is just duplicated. But with very good character design. That one's really cool with the flashing blue and white. You ever read about impossible colors? No. No? It's um it's when two colors are flashed back and forth between each other and it it creates oh you got hit, I think. And it creates a color that we can't perceive with our eyes properly. So it, it makes our eyes go a little a little wonky, like putting blue and red, like non complementary colors or something. I can't remember the combination. And by f there you go. Oh, almost. No, I'm going to run wrong. There you go. Oh, oh, that's as far as I made it. I think, right? I think so. Yeah. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna just go over here because <laughs> it's. I'm probably gonna get hit. Oh, I got hit by dodging it. But this way, I know I'll only get hit at least once. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the, the programmer's going to update it, so yeah, it's, it's going to go there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, it'll go for the corners. You're not safe. It'll like start in the corners. <laughs> oh, why, am I, why am I pressing it? Ah! See, when he switches over, it's like, ah, getcha.
Stay yeah, and back. It's, it's, he starts wherever the guy was. Yes, yes. And so, so you're always up range of the. Be, uh, I have to be conscious of that. You know, what's after this? Is it more death from above? Yep, it is. Damn it, go for the corner. Play it safe. <laughs> if you can make it to the corner. Yep. Oh, I won the last round. You did. <laughs> Very good game. It, I suppose it says it does build the tension like 2600 millipede gets my heart racing yeah I I think there's a very good future for this game um, yeah yeah it's cool It's it's got so much variation and that's usually not what you see in a 2600 game is tons of different enemies different patterns it's usually the same thing over and over again um, just getting faster and faster yeah, like I gotta the, fix those corners yep so that we can't hide hide even though yeah, we I don't get, know if there's anything we do else. Get hit. I don't think there was anything else that actually was a problem. Not really. It was fairly solid. Like we didn't even get through all the new characters. Yeah. So yeah, good on you. We just need not to too easy. Not too easy. Yeah. <laughs> Hold down the middle button, please. Got it. Oh, sorry, Captain. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I may have interrupted his stay. So we're doing Robo Ninja Climb. And this is from Gao. Gao Wow. Gao Wow. I don't know how to say that. How are we doing? Really good. Good for time. And this is the author of the epic game Anguna. Remember ah, playing that? The yes. map game? This is um, an epic game. That is the accurate yes. description. So Robot Ninja Climb is a direct Atari port of his NES homebrew entry for the 2017 NES dev. So don't start it yet. Let's just take a look at what it looks like on the NES. Uh, let me find it. And we can see what the graphics are like. Robo. Spelt correctly climb any s there we go let's switch over to that start that going sound uh for us uh, i have to turn off our sound okay we're gonna go okay. Yes, I would say yes. Translate. That could do a translate. You and you and one or two other one or two other on things. the same line on the same line. So let's uh, 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 back, back to the twenty six hundred. Let's see what we got. 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 let uh, it was sort of a self-challenge. Uh, can I directly take the NES game logic code? Oh, game logic code, most of which was written in C, replacing the rendering sound controls and make the same game run on the VCS? Turns out the answer is yes, which makes sense if you take, well, the same code, it would have to be translated into pseudocode. I mean, C, I don't know if there is a C. I, I haven't done any programming on the 2600. There's a way to program in C for the 2600. I thought it, you could program in C on the ARM chip, but that's not the same. I don't know. Uh, turns out the answer is yes. The majority of the game logic is the exact same code as the NES version, inspired by both those endless climbing games for mobile phones and Wallabers Wall Jump Ninja. So it was an inspiration. 
You try to guide robot nin Robo Ninja as he climbs through five levels filled with spikes and lasers. After five levels, it will start at the beginning, increasing the speed every time. So, uh, press the button to jump. Hold the left or right to steer Robo Ninja in midair. You can always climb upwards by tapping jump and holding back towards the wall you're on and pressing down to slide downwards. Uh, three items to collect. Small colored square. Um, the orange square is a double jump. Once collected, you can jump a second time in midair. Purple is a climber. Now you can now press up to climb up the wall if you get a purple square. Red is a rocket pack. Instead of jumping and holding walls, the rocket pack will propel you upwards. Difficulty. Use the left difficulty switch to toggle between easy and hard mode. We'll stay in easy for now, I think. Hard mode is what I consider to be the real game. Uh, it is a bit faster and has one-hit kills. Boo, one-hit kills. Let me know if you run into any bugs or issues, as I'm not, as I'm, I'm not likely uh, to make major gameplay changes at this point. Because he's already made the game. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to change it for the 2600. But I do want to make sure it runs well. So we're just looking for any kind of bugs. It's flying at some point. Yeah, that was the rocket pack, I guess. Uh, okay. Let's give it a go. So level three zero. lives. Yeah, level zero. Usually start at level one. So there's sliding down, or you can jump up by pressing towards the wall. You're going to die. Uh, you can't go up a wall. You have to jump across. Just like Robo, just like Long Jump Ninja. He climbs up the wall. Yeah, he got a he got a power up. No, I mean. Press to the left and jump. That's how you go up, uh, jump up the wall. Um, to go up, like go up the wall, you have to get a power up, an orange power up. And from my short experience playing the game... Oh yeah, you can't stay on something if it, if it hurts you. Um, if you hold down the button, he goes up and higher. If you just tap it, he'll go kind of straight across. Level one! Hooray! And also, I've noticed that it, you got to get out of there. Jump, jump. There you go. I thought it was... I thought... Uh, yeah, okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you only have a certain amount of safe time. I agree with the change that you should just die. <laughs> yeah, one hit death. Game over. Yep. I mean, wall jump ninjas like that. Yep. You're, you're done. One hit and you're, you're dead. And if you jump before the screen is fully drawn at the top, it kind of presses you down. Like you can't go above where you can see too much. And there's some tricky moves where you can kind of jump and then get back to the same wall. But I have not practiced that enough. Like yeah, that. like that. Yeah, there's lots of room here that you can practice it in. Level 2 out of 5. So is there 6 levels, or is it level 0 through 4? I bet it's 0 through 4, because he says there's 5 levels. Oh, that is the climbing up the wall uh, bonus. Oh, well. Sacrificed your life for the bonus. For training. For training purposes only. Yes, for training purposes. So you can I mean, slide. I died immediately on my first few lives. And then I went everywhere on the last life. So you can slide down. Oh, oh supposed to be spikes there, I guess. Right. And technically, I think you, you could like draw spikes on the bottom that don't move up and down. Or you could move them up and down. Why would they move up and down? Because they did in the original... Did they? Just for animation purposes, I think. Just to make them look good. I'm gonna get myself stuck. No. There must be some way to draw some spikes. 
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Switch levels in the middle of me doing something. Maybe there there's a should be like a pause there, because I was in the middle of doing something and it just jolted. So there's something to do, like no just hold it on the screen for a bit before you allow input. Hi, are you here to interfere? Ah that was close. Hey! Psst, 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 psst. No, I thought I was going to do a tricky move, but I don't know how to do them yet. Like going around it? Mm -hmm. Psst! Kittens! Ah, didn't mean to do that, actually. Level two! Kitten! He just wants to throw something on the floor. He's so That's heartless. That's all he wants to do. So now I should go up? Was that what orange was? No, it was a double jump, maybe. I can't, right now. I can't remember. Jump, jump. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. What are those ones? Oh, because there's So now two. I need the there's double jump. There's one on each side. That's why it's back up. Ah, uh, get out of there. Yeah, there you don't, we go. You don't need the double jump for that. You just jump and then turn back and you go back. Oh, okay. You can always, you can always do okay. that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. The That's... double jump lets you get more height, I guess. I yeah. don't know what it does, to be honest. That makes sense, to get more height. Should be pretty close to another level here. Yeah, that's helpful. Okay. Not too bad. Getting better. It's fun. Now that I kind of know the... Oh, see? You're in the middle of doing something, and the levels go crazy. It could be worse, though. Oh. It could be a case of you, uh... Ah! You jump, and then it costs you anything instead of just surprising you with no cost. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's like, surprise! So now I can go up. There. Ah. That's, that's very handy. So I'm going to have to do a... Do you, do you ever lose that? Uh, I'm hoping it's just like a, a power-up that you get to keep. I gotta say, it's a little weird that such a simple power is just something you <laughs> Should you just get do. later. <laughs> and oh not all that far into the game. It's weird that you don't have it all the time. Yeah, like Because you will have it from now on. I think it's because it's needed more in this level, like to get past the electrocutions, to slide past them rather than jump around sure. them. Sure. So this should I'm just be saying the... that I think it's weird. That's all. It is a little weird. Now this is the last last level because he said there's five five levels, but it started at level zero. So we'll see. Oh, I'm all green again instead of that terrible gray. Oh, how much? What? You don't. That wasn't even close to the bottom. You hit the spikes on the bottom. Yeah, the spikes. Oh my God. See, that's helpful. Sliding. Doesn't quite reach the other side there. The little electrocutional. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is getting pretty precise now. I'm a little pale green. I think I'm just going to jump around these. Oh, too late. So that's a jetpack. So, does it last forever? Oh my god, no! Until you oh. run into something. Oh, it doesn't, yeah. But then you die. Yeah. Well, how did I do this? See, I don't know how to do that with the double jump. Do what? Um, jump up and over. I don't know. You have to practice. Practice. Oh, I see. It does make uh, okay, it does make sense to have the. Well, I mean, it's just weird that no. the crawling up the wall is a superpower, <sighs> since you could essentially do it anyways by just hopping. <laughs> I suppose it says I like the gameplay mechanics. Yes, they're they're fairly good. Like the the controls are fairly good. They just take getting used to how they work. The dude don't like the sprite in color. Yeah, the sprite is massive and chunky but i think he's trying to replicate the size that he had on the nes 
Um, I don't know how you could fix that. See, uh, it's crazy that it just interrupts you. So I would say that was a bug. Um, the spikes are fine, I think. The walls that are scrolling, I think they could be refined a bit with like little slats or something instead of just continuous long things. Like every second one do uh, an empty line and then a filled in line so it's almost shaded. And that would uh, possibly look a little bit better for the sides because right now it looks like early 2600 graphics with this super chunk of matic uh, looks to it. Um, and also it kind of chunks in at the top. If you see when the wall comes in, it kind of goes bloop, 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 little dripping, dripping bits. It's minor, but a little distracting once you've noticed it. At the bottom, when it fades out, it's totally fine. But it just, it like, draws something continuously and then kind of replaces it with the new pattern after a second. Oh, nice. Um, I suppose this has a sticky catfish. Kind of. Kind of looks like a sea creature, doesn't it? With like a suction cup <laughs> for legs. I mean, the robot head looks looks robotic and the arm's not bad, but it's, it's just big. He's just a big character. I don't know how you could solve that because without flickering, he is like double wide. He's made the, the character double wide. And obviously you could do a lot better with the colors, changing the colors of your main character. Like having his eyes gray and the body a little bit different gray, something like that. Um, so you could definitely improve on the, the graphics for the dude. And even improve on the uh, playfield graphics for the scrolling walls to have different colored bricks or something, maybe. But he might be just going for um, the gameplay at this moment. It might be a little bit too early to um, start working on the colors and, and graphics. Maybe he's going to leave those to last. But the, the actual jumping is super solid. Like, once you figure it out. Hi. Oh, ah, get out of there, up. There you go. He's all gray and sickly now. That's how I play. <laughs> gray and sickly? That's how you play best? Oh, he caught his leg when he jumped. You were safe sitting there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Changing colors in game is nice. Nope. The death little screen is pretty good. No. Oh, what? One more? Oh, you're still playing? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were dead. Oh, nope. No still three. playing. <clears throat> but I think he's got the base basics really, really good. Well, that's a tricky one. You're going to have to up and around. Yeah, there you go. Now you can go up. That's refreshing. But now it's like, no, you're gonna have to just push your way through this area. <clears throat> if the sides are playfield zero, that's only four bits. Um, well, it's one, two, three, four, five bits um, on, that's, on that one. I tried to time it too tight. Oh yeah, let's switch to hard mode. Uh, what was hard mode? Hard mode is instant death. Yes. No hit points. Oh. Well, what's... Oh, for each life, it's instant death. Yeah, it's Does like, oh, you sense? touch a thing? Yeah, it makes more sense. That's what yeah. Wall Jump Ninja is like. Yeah. And what did we have to press? I appreciate for that there's an easier version where you get... Where it takes three hits. I appreciate that, but... Yeah. So it's left difficulty. Okay. 
I'm just gonna test it here. You're doing so bad. Ah. Worst game oh, it ever. switches to hard. Hmm? Bad cap. <laughs> oh, is this faster too? Faster yeah, scrolling. Yeah. Well, it gets through the level. I get it, yeah, because it was a little slow before, actually. Yeah. It was like, oh my god, come on. Actually, this is. I like the faster speed. Oh, you yeah. get through the level faster, too. Yeah, it was slow. Didn't mention that. Maybe we missed it. It might have mentioned it. Yeah. I don't remember it, but. No. Ah. Oh, unforgiving. It is now. Oh my god. This is like, totally unforgiving. You have to be perfect. Yeah, I would not have gotten as far as I did because I mostly played the game gray. <laughs> <laughs> gray alien. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to have to bring in my wall jump ninja skills of precision. Precision jumping. Does it start the whole level over? Yeah, it does. <laughs> yep. Uh, but the levels aren't that long. No. Uh, <laughs> it is hard. How can hard be normal? Why are you labeling your normal version as hard? I mean, it is hard. Shouldn't it be normal? And then there should be a hard version? Oh, too crazy on the button. I should have slid down, yeah, just I realized touch. that I could do that. Yeah, I was thinking, how are you going to get out of this? Oh, down, there you go. Did you hear they uh, found uh, underground lakes on Mars? I did. That's pretty damn exciting. Uh, however, it's underground. Oh, you're like, still going. Might not be a, like drilling a, might underground. Be like, it might not be miles. a, a um, what was it, that far down? I, I, I didn't take note of how far down it was. Um, I just assumed that it was like a frozen lake. No, it's liquid. Liquid, liquid water. Yeah, that's, that, even, that'll be definitive if there's, if there's any life to be found. It's in there. Although, lack of life in that lake doesn't mean there will have never been any. No. But, but the if, chances it, if are life really there was high. anything like life here... It will be that, like, if there was if there was bacterial life that covered the planet, um, it will be in that lake. Ah, uh, I want to start over. Or seems like. Yes, um, they compared it to their analysis of underground lakes on Earth and what they look like through the radar techniques yeah, or yeah. however they, and they're like, this is so certain. This is exactly what they look like on Earth. Like, they can't be 100% certain because they can't visually see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like, no, nah, this this is for real. Basically, all that stuff is, this is very promising. Like, they're never yeah. telling you we know this for sure. So hard. I think I like the other one better. <laughs> I mean, if they were on Mars and they saw aliens, they'd be like, we think we saw aliens. <laughs> It may be CG. Yeah, it might have it's been probably. We don't think it is. We think it's really <laughs> aliens, but it could be some sort of... James, Car James Cameron's new movie, <laughs> you know, that they're prepping for. <laughs> yeah, scientists are very skeptical people, and they have to have, like, 
Super proof. <laughs> yeah. To be like, yes, we are certain. It's always in probabilities of like, yeah. we're pretty certain that it is, and this indicates that. Where, it, whereas in politics, it's it's they never are pretty sure about something. They are always certain <laughs> the world is like this, absolutely yes. like this. There's no question, and they're almost well, they're almost some of the times right. <laughs> Occasionally, every once in a while. Yes. <laughs> Fancy. Getting a little better at that. See, that's why I like that there's an easy version in which you don't die, because it gives you a chance to continue practicing things like that. Yes. Oh, it is Where... mirrored. Yes, it is. What's that? Oh, he's just talking about the play field. Uh, yeah, it is nice that there is a practice kind of level. Up! <laughs> no, I went too long! You made it because it's lightning. moving too fast now that you can't wait as long. You have to just go for it. You gotta figure it out quicker. One more game each. No. Nope. Are you we go. done? You go. Oh, we're not done yet. One more game for me. Oh god. <laughs> Getting better. And you always hope for that. <laughs> that you get better. Oh! Yeah, that's gotta be fixed. I know, it has to be fixed. There's nothing worse than a moment of, of confusion <laughs> with, without cost. Yes. No, there could be a cost if I'm jumping. It hasn't this. been yet. No, no, <laughs> not yet. But in the higher levels, I bet you could accidentally jump off and hit a spike. And... Maybe. Yeah, uh, I suppose it is correct. It is a mirrored play playing field on the left and right. Oh, I see, yeah. Because it's doing exactly the same thing, which makes it easier. Are you talking about the walls? Yeah, okay. which makes it easier to program because then you don't have to update them separately. Like yeah. draw it and then the middle of... And they're the same. They don't change anyway, so... Oh, I accidentally did that. You didn't intentionally die there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I accidentally pressed the button. Yeah, it wasn't like I, I was trying for something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was a, an error, not a, not a not shitty, not poorly executed. That's, it was an error. Yes, yeah. an error in pressing buttons. Yeah. Not like, oh, I tried something and it totally failed because I'm a, a bad player. I do like these types of games. Yeah. Where you have to learn moves to get around things, and learn techniques. Uh oh. I, oh my god. At least I have another life. That's one thing that the What? That's one thing that the Unfair. NES Unfair That's one thing that the NES version had that this one doesn't. I don't know if it's something that can be done, but you can see where the lightning is in the NES one. Oh. It had little emitters and on this it just if until the lightning shows up you can't tell. It could do that. It could just replace the the emitters with the lightning if it wanted to just switch over. Mm. Because there's not enough uh, even then, you could keep them on because it's very flickery. Everything's flicker with lightning, so it'd be totally fine yeah. to have those emitters and then flicker the the emitters a little bit. Yeah. Very nice. I have high hopes for that game as it goes on. It does need better graphics. Um, you just add color to it. Um, sure. Add color to the head. Um, he could fancy up the sides of the walls quite a bit. The, the lighting emitters, for sure, make them look better. Well, exist. Exist, yeah. They look terrible now. Like, <laughs> like you can't even see them. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're completely camouflaged. Uh, <laughs> in terms of the like play mechanics of moving around, it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. it's really Functionally, good. Functionally, it's really good, yeah. Responsive. You do have to learn it. Oh, and then there's that like unforgivable flaw where the level changes real quick. I mean, it, forgivable. It, unforgivable. <laughs> it is. It is very odd for it to switch without any. I've seen that in other pause. games during, you know, the development of yeah. the game. They just don't think about that. It's like display on screen. Oh, press the button just to get off that screen. It's not like oh, I'm already firing like crazy in this game. Yeah, you have to give like don't. Like, ignore input for X seconds or one second until you're stopped. I can't remember what the game I said 
I suggest that to another programmer and they, they put that in and it's like, oh, way better. Way, way, way better. Um, so let's take a look and give our final uh, report. Uh, so we did Quantum Tunnel. Super awesome. Yeah, really good. Love that game. Needs to be harder. Needs to be harder. Yeah. I need to be crying immediately <laughs> like when I play it. Punished. Good enough. Punished. <laughs> yes. Punished like, for even picking like up the joystick. Explosion, explosion, explosion. Game over. <laughs> no, it's... I should never feel any confidence when I play a game for the <laughs> just, first time. I just... should just be like, oh, I'm dead already. <laughs> <laughs> but you did, like, great in the first one. It's so good. So good. Mastered it. <laughs> Satan's Hollow. Awesome. Looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's got the basics, and it just needs more. Just needs to keep going. It's awesome. And that was what, that's one of my favorite games on the C64, so I'm really looking forward to that continuing on. Palomino. Pff, awesome game. Yep. Um, gets Really good. I, I like that one. Gets, gets harder and more intense. It probably could stand to get a little harder, because I played for quite a while, and it was just kind of making my mind crazy looking at just everything on the board it wasn't the game being hard it was just like there's so many things happening yeah uh white water madness um it just needs just more yeah um tweaking to the difficulty yep. any game i can play forever obviously needs needs to be harder because otherwise you won't play it forever <laughs> no you just won't play it yeah because it's, it's, it's a little it's a, it's it's like that like ironic thing if you can yes. play it forever you won't yeah it is very ironic it's like i'm so good at this game i love playing it no it's not it's you need some challenge yeah for it i'm to be fun. sure that like you know it's that's right pretty early on I think, very it's like to, it's a week old all that stuff yeah how yeah. can you criticize a game that's a week old very easy it was a terrible game how dare you <laughs> see you don't nobody play it <laughs> no you want to encourage and make it better yeah. we all want tons of lists of awesome games uh draco uh great start yeah yeah um the graphics are great yep the the variability of the things in the game is great um for me the uh starfield part where like you're evading mm. cosmic you know it's uh, a little hard obstacles was pretty hard if yep. you didn't cheat um and i don't know if it's because the obstacles were so fast or if you were just too slow i don't know which but i found that really hard yeah that's almost like oh, but i don't know unfair. if that's just would take practice or what but i just kind of felt the more i played it the more i felt like there was nothing i could do <laughs> when i first started playing it the first time i picked up and played i don't think i had that much difficulty with it yeah i was like oh do, do, do. And then, like, the more I played, I was like, oh, it's going to get me. And then it did. <laughs> Confidence <laughs> Until down. I went into the corner and hid. Like, it, yeah. Yeah. Robo Ninja Climb, obviously. We just well, that was played the only it. complaint about that. Robo Ninja Climb, yeah. That yeah. was good. Yeah. Robo Ninja Climb's awesome. Obviously, it's been play tested to death for the NES. Yeah, yeah. So that's why the movement. Unsurprising, yeah. That's, that's why the movement's so good. good. Yeah. So it's just, you know, like, as he said, I don't want to hear anything about the gameplay. Yeah, yeah. I just want to hear bugs. And obviously graphics too. You yeah. can make the graphics oh, better. Oh, in addition to the emitters, the and we said this early on, yep. seeing the teeth at the bottom. Sure. Seeing That'd the point, fun. even if the like a line or something, like something at the bottom that tells you like a flashing no. zapper line. Yeah, because something that tells you this is where you die if you touch this part. Because in Wall Jump Ninja, there's lava. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, there's wavy lava. Like, yeah. So put something there because it looks like, oh. Because otherwise you die and you you just sort of have to guess as to where you are the, when you die. The air hit killed me. Yeah. Poisonous air. Like, wh why is the robot dying on the bottom of the screen? Now, yeah. um, good group of games. Actually, I'm always happy. I mean, I do look for them at first. Like, oh, would this be good? And I maybe play test it a little bit. So it's not just random random yeah, yeah. games i find on the internet um but sometimes games are really surprising how actually good they are uh, when you look at the graphics and you go mm, i don't know it's pretty chunky graphics <laughs> but as we've demonstrated time and time again graphics are not the most important thing yeah. it's gameplay gameplay yeah, yeah yeah like we two weeks ago or a week ago we played just the rom games and one was two tanks tanks they were blocks on either side of the screen and it had one of the best game plays of any game 
you shot the opponent, the opponent's tank got smaller, you got bigger. Ah. So now you're a bigger target, mm -hmm. and they're a smaller target. So like it's a built-in perfect handicap, handicap yeah, 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 that great. works for everyone. I almost couldn't kill the other person. They're too small. They're too small. And then when they lose, they can still fire and then build themselves back up. Ah. And that's a way to not funny. to to finish the game so you didn't have to reset the button because right, none right. of the ROM games had any reset buttons or anything. Right, right. It was and it's a fun game and you could steer your bullets. Awesome. Awesome. So it's all about gameplay. You can make a good game in 128 bytes. That's a, like you know what is it, twelve by twelve box of characters. That's yeah. how many hundred and twenty eight bytes. A little bit less than that. Amazing, the gameplay is reused from the NES. Both 6502. Yes, they are. So, yeah, that's true. Yeah, if if you're programmed in assembly on both, they're going to be the same. I didn't... But he said he programmed in C. Yeah. So it's not the same. And that's it. Uh, next Wednesday, uh, we're not broadcasting. I'm going to be on vacation. But we'll be back next Friday. And Wednesday and Friday and Wednesday and Friday and Wednesday and Friday. Until the foreseeable future. So I will see you guys next Friday. And I'll see you in two weeks. Unless something else happens. I don't think so. <laughs> don't think well, so. actually, I'm going to be here next Wednesday. But oh. you won't be here. So oh. that doesn't matter. Ah, that's Getting right. teeth cleaned. Yeah, the work in progress. I love doing these, sh these shows. Because it's not just, here's a game. We can't affect this game whatsoever. This game is the game. And it's kind of neat to give input yeah. on these games. So, But next Friday is going to be delving into some of the new games that I bought recently. That I did in the unboxing. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. And if you missed Wednesday's show, it was a high score show on Draconian. And I got 200,000 points and came... Oh, I didn't even finish my story. Quickly wrapping up. Second place was Spiceware, the guy who made the game. <laughs> with 260,000. Then it was me with 200,000. So I'm in first. He doesn't... How can you count a, a game, a contest, with the guy who made the game? Is that Very, fair? Yes, it is fair. Because <laughs> making a game does not make you good at the game. That's true. I have beaten a lot of people who have yeah. made their own, own games. Because, yeah, you can make a really hard game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's and, a, yeah it, like having a skill at making games is, is a guy in no made, way impe gives you any ability to play them no because yeah. the guy who made donkey kong he's not the world record well the guy that made magic the gathering like, drawing a blank for some reason i can't yeah. remember but i remember there was this big deal where he played the champion and it was just he was just like mopped the floor with <laughs> he just he was like what chance do i have against the champion like mm -hmm. i made the game i didn't i don't have like cheat codes no and <laughs> it's one of those games where you can come up with techniques like he lays out the basic rules, but you can manipulate yeah. to varying degrees, like chess. It's like, oh, here are the rules, but I don't know every combination. Yeah, Not even and, computers and know to, every to combination. To go back to Magic the Gathering, I recall, yeah. like, I remember a thing being that some people would make decks and other people would play them. And the people oh, that played really? the decks were not the people that made the best decks. They were really good wow. at playing them, but they weren't so great at starting from scratch and making a new one and when they played That's it they bizarre. might be like oh i'd rather have this than that or what have you and but tweak it yeah but like their forte was like i didn't know when organizing far. the like yeah wow, i'm great. not saying that you can't both make a good deck and play it yeah but that at a certain point it diverges and yeah it's like players and Mac, deck like like being really good at the rules and manipulating the minutiae in play is a different skill than making like a yeah uh, a deck it's just different yeah that makes sense and it's very applicable yeah to video games yeah, like, yeah. directly applicable yeah well, it's like, yeah. I know how to make a game, yeah. but I may not be I'm following awesome. the logic to make this happen and that happen and yeah. what have you. I know what makes good gameplay, yeah. but I may not be good at that type of game. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously, if you're making the game, you like that type of game. It's like, oh, I hate making this game. Or the idea of it. Yeah. It depends on the type of game. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, yeah. But, but probably, yeah, yeah. That's it. Thanks Anyways, for watching Zero Page Homebrew. We're here next Friday, 2 p.m. No, it won't be 2 p.m. 7 p.m. Because <laughs> he's not here. It's 2 p.m. when he's here. 
It's my fault. Yeah, it's his fault. <laughs> yeah. So 7 p.m. And thank you, Ground Trooper. I will have a, a great little vacation there. And thanks to everybody uh, who uh, sat in and watched and the people who talked. Uh, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, uh, Lord Monkus, uh, Rena Foot, And uh, yeah, those are the people who uh, chatted with us, entertaining us. And uh, yeah, entertaining our silliness <laughs> and playing. Uh, so we'll see you uh, next Friday. Uh, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.